Howdy cowdies, welcome to a quick little weekly walkabout. Show you some of the cool stuff we've got to hawk at the collector this week. I love this. Little mouseman, little English ashtray with a little mouse on the end. It's got a little bit of damage, looks like it possibly has been chewed by a rat. <laughs> nice to see a bit of this. First bit of it I've ever seen or I've ever handled. To see it on TV, on those bargain hunt shows and all that sort of thing. So it's cool to have a little bit here. Some lovely little cameo brooches. Nice gold fob watch over the back that's in a little bit of disrepair. It just needs a little bit of a clean up. I can see the glasses come out of the surround as it is, so it just needs a little bit of fixing up, but it's a nice thing. This is a lovely 18 karat gold ring there with a big ruby. Nice bit as well. Lovely little collection of gramophone needle needles over the back. There's a ruby, a uh, sapphire one and a diamond one in amongst there that have never been used, plus some other ones as well. Yeah, more nice little fobs and pocket watches and some badges about World War One, give or take. Some little wind-up animals are pretty cool. This cowbell's great. Nice little vintage gents Hermes wallet there. And a couple of cool gents watches. Little Seiko digital chronograph on top's a very nice thing. Just probably needs a new battery in it. What else have we got? Nice little outdoor table and chairs. Really like this big 1970s sort of day bed. A teak veneer. It's got a nice shaped frame to it. When you pull down the back cushions, you've got all this storage in the back. That's kind of cool. Really nice thing. Nicely made. There's no marks on it to tell us who made it, which is a bit of a shame. But it's a lovely thing. Really quite like it. Nice little display cabinet there. Nice size with the lead light. Pretty cool planter there. It looks like a bit of Ellis, but it's got that funny signature underneath mirror or something like that. I think is one of the people working at the Ellis factory may be doing stuff on their own time. Pretty cool little lamp. Don't think he's that old, but he looks the part. Another nice little cabinet. Projector. Some Lego Duplo. The big retrovision barrel. There you go. So you can spin up a winner. Some toys. Papa Smurf tucked away over there. We've got some cool gents vintage clothing this week. No ladies stuff. Just all gents, some cool shirts, glow weave, night moves. This is a pretty cool little tracksuit top from Darcy's Darts Club. It was Lee's tracksuit top. Wonder what happened to Lee. Some more cool sort of gents summary shirts, Hawaiian labels and stuff like that. What's that? A pretty cool gent sort of blue velvet dinner jacket. Some old footy jumpers to Kilda and North. Some sort of summer shirts, pretty cool Australian go-kart supplies. Frilly sort of fronted dress shirts. Pretty cool safari shirt there, Charlie Sheen, whatever you want. A lot of sort of gent sort of long sleeve businessy shirts as well, all with good original labels and stuff like that. Some cool gents clothing this week. What else have we got? Stereo gear, CDs, fire stuff. Mattel Tippy Toes doll on her little tricycle, she rides it along. Yeah, it's a little lot of retro sort of yellow stuff. It's a bloody big leather chest. Some good English Goodman speakers, good quality stuff. China, some sort of kids bathing costumes and stuff. Some cool old t-shirts in amongst that lot. Some motorbike stuff in here. Kickstands and things like that off old motorbikes. A couple of boxes of pottery and stuff and some pretty cool kids toys. Iron Man costume. It's only a kids one though, I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> it's a pretty cool, the fold out deck chairs. Nice desk. Pretty cool little desk as well, it all folds up. Nice little group of pictures and stuff. Pretty cool little retro bar. Little meat safe's a ripper actually. Some old road signs. Great little retro chair. Some pretty damn cool old Marlborough posters. There you go. Look at him. Come to where the flavour is. That's him, that's where the flavour is, with that guy. Jim Beam stuff. Signed, Michael Klim, photograph or picture. It's a pretty cool reprinted poster there. Buddy Holly, Richie Vellens and the Big Bopper. I reckon that's all the blokes that went down in that plane crash. It's a screen printed poster, but it is a repro one. It's got the year on it, 1959. The original ones don't often have the actual year on it. Pretty cool McCoy bourbon poster. Nice mirror. Big stack of suitcases up the top. Pretty cool little baby's bath up there. Cool gents ties, 
Got a little lot of records, some different stuff. Kumbolo, which is a pretty cool Jamaican reggae band. Fox with single bed. Ultravox Elvis. John Fogarty. There you go. Nilsson Schmilson, which is the quadraphonic one. Interesting little lot of pottery. Fantastic kids cowboy suit. Real fur attached to it and all the rest of it on the chaps and on the vest. Light up religious plaque down the bottom. Pretty cool, a big TAA poster there, map of Australia with all the air routes and stuff. Big lot of die casts, nice lot of English retro China. Pretty cool little magazine stand up the top there. You should hopefully you haven't even seen that. It's the first time I've seen that today. Big Tui's new sort of can fridge is pretty cool. Nice little British school etching here. Another lovely little oil painting there of a little harbour scene in Cornwall. Signed Sam Riley, signed Shane Warne, big Budweiser promotional surfboard. What else have we got? Some Coca-Cola adverts. Little bookshelf with the two little sort of drum stools. Lovely piano stool. Quite a nice sort of armchair there in a 1920s style. Two nice little nurses chairs. Pretty cool big cast iron outdoor bench. It weighs a bloody ton. Another nice little nurses chair. This is cool actually. Over the back, the old 1970s metal planters. Fantastic big sprinkler. And the red pheasant. There you go. Used to drink at a pub called the red pheasant. No, I didn't really. <laughs> cool thing still. Speaking of cool things, yeah, look at that. It's one of the best Starburst clocks I reckon I've ever seen with the big metal spikes and the little teak panels in between. It's in great condition. Metamac, great thing. Some more posters, Viscount cigarettes and stuff like that. The big sideboard, drinks cocktail cabinet as well. Some great rubber masks. Bundaberg Rung poster there with the hot chick on the bike. This is pretty cool, the big light-up neon Miller genuine draft sign. And we've got some more cool stuff as well. Jim Beam decanters, Australian pottery, including Gunda. They're cute. The little spice canisters. More little lot of Australian pottery, all with a little bit of damage, unfortunately. The Guy Boyd mugs are fantastic. A couple of nice train sets. Great big collection of kids, as new kids, retro shirts and clothing. Some little doll faces. Maps for pilots and stuff. Guitar in its box. Beer taps, some mint box matchboxes, a couple of little bits of green pottery, Bendigo and Japanese, some Barbies from the Olympics, nice book, History of the Rubicon Forest, Rails to Rubicon. Umbrellas, some sort of table centrepieces here, maybe from the, some, some um, football dinner or something, I don't think the brown low. That one's from the Ansett Australia Cup 1998. Undrilled Coca-Cola bowling ball, pretty cool big light up course sign. McCallum's jugs, some more models of SES, this is great, the old Coke poster. Nice collection of glass, nice hand painted Chinese jardinier, big Ferrari flag. The Love Shack, there you go, pretty cool thing, the sign there to hang up at the front of your house. <laughs> it's pretty cool, a little pistol vase, quite new, made in England. Cool thing, nice tins, more flags, scales and weights. The Masterpiece Novelty Peeing Boy Decanter. What else have we got in the N2 cabinets here, guys? A couple of nice bits of the 70s Israeli pottery there. The big vase over the back and the little squat vase there. Melrose, Royal Albert. Nice scales. Big corgi. A couple of interesting glass vases, hand-blown. This one's really quite unusual with a little sort of funny base on it. Big fluorite glass vase down the bottom there, so it's purple under normal light and sort of a blue colour under fluorescent light. Nice big shorter and sun fish setting down the bottom. Lovely little manicure set, it's not easy being green. A pair of ladies Dr. Martin's boots. A bit different for docks, but they're pretty cool. Little tramways pouch. Signed Swerve and Mervyn Hughes, picture down the bottom. And there's some cool stuff. The Alpine cigarette packet dispenser there. The Philip Morris one's a ripper and the Viscount cigarettes as well. John Long whiskey sign, which has been hand painted. Some lovely um, old ships, lanterns, and things. Here's another nice one. Nice little advertising pieces. Australian little ink pots. A little thermos over the back's a bit different. Never seen one with a, like a porcelain covering over the sort of glass inside. Pretty different. It's pretty cool. Little deco lamp, stag horn. Nice bit of Czechoslovakian deco glass. A couple of bits of uranium glass there that light up under a UV light. Bit of Johnny Campbell's acuity. 
a nice little bit of carnival glass from you and a little advertising dish go together. Here's a nice one, the Watney's Red Barrel change tray. Lovely little sort of chrome nude ashtray, the Black Mammy. It's got a little bit of damage, but she's fantastic. What else have we got? The top cabinet It's a nice bit as well, a big English sort of planter. The ACDC record over the back is the first New Zealand pressing from 1975. Good thing. Lovely Diana lamp. Beautiful Watson Scotch whiskey decanter there with the original enameled writing on it. The lovely big ruby glass jug, Italian, with a big sort of twist all the way through the body. A uh, bit of Costa Boda there, which looks to be hand painted. Chris Sanders, a little bit of Japanese cinnabar. Yeah. Some good stuff this week, guys. I've probably rambled on for long enough. Hopefully you saw something you liked, but you know the story. If you didn't, I don't really give a rat's jacksie.